like Michigan's unique Petoskey Stone. A honeycombed, earth-shaded treasure embraces a Devonian heritage, a colonial design, an Indian legend, and a lakeshore city. 350 million years ago, Michigan was covered with warm, shallow seas dominated by reefs of coral heads composed of six-sided colony coral of the genus Hexagonaria, found in rock strata from the Devonian age, over three times as old as the dinosaurs. These Devonian outcrops are found in less than 3% of the total United States landmass. It's a fascinating stone. It's, it's enjoyable, and when you when you realize that it's an ancient coral and uh, that it was once uh, alive and now it isn't and it's a stone, it's kind of something to, to intrigue you and fascinate you. This fossilized coral became the Petoskey Stone two million years ago in the Pleistocene Age when giant melting glaciers spread them over the northwest portion of Michigan's lower peninsula as well as the state's UP or upper peninsula. Petoskey stone type of coral can be found on every continent that I know of. You can find it all over Iowa and Illinois. It's very common, but only here has it been preserved in such a way that it turns out to be polishable and have an attractive color. The stone can vary in size from pebbles to melon-sized coral heads. This is a complete coral head. Uh, it has a fracture cross and sort of like a cross this way and that way. And this is the backside view that it shows the coral. When they are dry, Petoskey stones resemble ordinary limestone. When uh, Petoskey stone is dug out of the shale that it's found in, it looks like this, full of holes and cavities. When it's been washed back and forth, on the lake shore for 7,000 years, it's ground down and begins to look quite smooth. -like. But when wet or polished, they reveal a distinctive honeycomb pattern of six-sided cells, many with the prized dark eye in the cell's core. The color has to do with how much crude oil there is within the fossil coral. And in the center, there were tabulae, they're called, that go straight across and one above another. And the oil got trapped especially between those. So that's why the eyes tend to be darker than the radials, they're called, which spread out like the rays of the sun. Petoskey stones are primarily calcite, which is soft enough for craftsmen, yet dense enough to yield an impressive polish. In 1965, Governor George Romney signed a bill declaring the Petoskey Stone as Michigan's official state stone. The Petoskey Stone Festival is held in late May each year near beautiful Torch Lake. Welcome to the Antrim County Petoskey Stone Festival. This is our Thanks. sixth annual Petoskey Stone Festival uh, hosted by Antrim County and the, and the Soil Conservation District. We have uh, a lot of vendors here. We have um, a lot of food vendors, we have merchant vendors. We sell tile, knobs, uh, light switch plates, uh, pretty much anything, you, you name it. Um, you know, for backsplashes, fireplaces, shower floors, border accents. The origin of the Petoskey name weaves rich history and colorful local legend. According to the local Ottawa tribe, a fur trader and descendant of French nobility, named Antoine Carr married an Ottawa princess. The next spring, as the couple watched the early rays of the sunshine in the face of their newborn son, they named him Petoskey, meaning rays of dawn or sunbeams of promise. Petoskey later married the daughter of Chief Pocosagan, a famous Ottawa chief of Michigan's northern lower peninsula. They were blessed with two daughters and eight sons. In 1873, a group of settlers at Bear Creek on the tip of northern Michigan's Little Traverse Bay named their new town after the legendary chief, translating the name to Petoskey. The stones sold there as souvenirs became known as Petoskey Stones. Today, this scenic city of over 6,000 residents is a popular Midwest tourist stop. The setting of several stories by Ernest Hemingway, who summered in the area. 
The city also served as the terminus for the Chicago and Northwestern Railway. You can find Petoskey stones in Michigan from Traverse City across the state to Alpena, but they are most common on the shores of Lake Michigan and Little Traverse Bay and in area gravel pits and roadbeds when rainy days suddenly reveal these historic treasures. Fine jewelers and lapidary artists spurred by the increasing popularity of this unique keepsake have fashioned a wide variety of Petoskey stone creations now available throughout Michigan and online outlets. Many find their 350 million year old accessories make them feel quite young by comparison. Others just enjoy the hunt and the discovery of a treasure found few places in the world.